The season of spring is finally upon us here in the Southern Hemisphere and I have already been so completely enamored by her beauty. Just feeling the slight warmth and softness in the morning air, seeing the tuis dance in the Pahutakawa trees outside of our bedroom window. The air just feels thick and textured with the possibility to begin again, to re-meet yourself, to take all of the newly integrated seeds of winter's reflections and embed them in the soil. This year, me and Daniel decided to plant some wildflowers in the little soil patches up by our house. We laid down a few bags of topsoil and compost because the soil up here is quite sandy, and we sprinkled down a bunch of different wildflower seeds. so nice to feel actually warm again and I've spent as many afternoons as possible down by the shore frolicking around on the sand or in the water and just soaking up the sun as much as I possibly can. After the winter that we had out here, these days of sun truly feel like I am defrosting my bones. just got back from our first swim of the spring and it felt so delicious oh my gosh I didn't realize how much the sun actually just makes me come alive I used to always consider myself such a winter gal but honestly spring is well and truly my season it's my birth season as well I have such an affinity towards it I just feel so inspired during this time of the year and I'm super excited to <sighs> see the sun again after what feels like a freaking lifetime of not seeing the sunshine it's so nice to be out there it was so warm the water was really lovely and warm I just got back and I rinsed my hair out under the hose outside um, I will have a shower later as well but I wanted to show you guys part of what I'm wanting to incorporate more into my routine and that is a little bit more hair care stuff. I always notice that spring and summer my hair gets super damaged just from swimming a lot and being in the ocean and washing my hair quite frequently because it's always salty or sweaty or something. I just really want to take better care of my hair and I've been trying to grow it out for a while and it has grown quite Quite a lot but I want to see if I can have it really long and healthy because I have had it really long before but it was super unhealthy and so I want to have it long and healthy. I found this brand on Instagram they're called Hinu and it's this beautiful hair growth serum slash oil it's got a bunch of stuff in it this isn't sponsored I bought this I got absolutely sold and convinced by it but I'm just wanting to incorporate it more part of my routine do weekly hair oil treatments get into a good like hair care routine because I feel like it's one of those things that I can be pretty negligent about so I'm just gonna do a full-on hair oil and I'm gonna sleep with it in tonight so it'll have the whole night to soak up all the goodness I'm gonna pop it into my scalp and then just massage it down through the ends mm -hmm.
Something I started doing even before I got this hair oil has been trying to give myself like scalp massages. And this has been kind of in conjunction with gua sha. I realized when I started using the gua sha how much tension I had in my scalp, especially in the temple area and kind of in this band that wraps around here. Oh my god, like there's so much tension that I have there and I have no idea why. But I've been kind of massaging like these corner parts with my gua sha. But when I do um, a little scalp massage, I like to just get my fingers in and just rub the sides of my head. And do a combination of like rubbing around with my fingers, but also like getting my fingers on a spot and like moving the skin around my scalp I don't know if you can see that it's like but it feels so good so I really do love the ceremony and the ritual of these more physical self-care practices and just taking the time to give yourself like a self massage is just the most generous thing that you can do for yourself and one of I think the biggest ways that we can really like show our love to ourselves is taking the time to like rub your body in ways that feels good honestly for like most of my life I think on some level I've been subtly just disassociating from my experience reclaiming these more physical tangible self-care practices like hair care rituals skin care rituals like the gua sha and and um, also um, moisturizing my body really regularly like all of these things I feel like really help to just bring me back into this embodied experience and really appreciate my physical form for what it is and to really honor it and almost worship it in a way and also self-massage just feels so good so soft I just let my hair air dry for a little bit and then I just finish it off with the blow dryer and she's feeling super moisturized super healthy really lovely and soft um, which takes me to my next task for today and I have been putting this off for quite some time I used the excuse of wanting to film it but to be quite frank I think it just overwhelms me a little bit. We've done quite a bit of spring cleaning so far. We managed to tidy out our closet and give a real deep clean to our cupboard. I also did like a big de-haul of my closet. So I got rid of a bunch of clothes that I just haven't worn in honestly years. I'm going off on a tangent though because we're putting this off even more, but I need to organize the pantry because the pantry is literally out of control. I'm gonna be so embarrassed to show it to you guys but like we've only got really this one cupboard back here used to store our food that isn't like fridged food 
and it's a very tight space and so it gets very cramped and there's just like a lot of stuff in there and it's really unorganized and I've been meaning to organize it for a really long time and I wanted to get some pantry organization stuff to help and we went and got it from Bunnings I think it was it's just this like this kit of click clack um, containers and so we are gonna finally organize my pantry today and I'm slightly overwhelmed for it but I think it'll be really satisfying and especially coming into spring it'll just help me feel like a little bit more organized before we do anything let me show you what it is exactly that we're working with here don't judge me <laughs> It's, it's freaking chaotic. This is what we're working with. It's an absolute madhouse. It's just stuff has just been crammed in here because like this was me trying to get organized. I put all of our baking stuff in here in an attempt to bring some semblance of organization, but everything's just chaotic. Like ba what, what, are you, what are you doing down here baking soda? Like you shouldn't be with the honey and the biscuits and the pasta. Like it's all just absolute madness. So we are gonna organize this just reshuffle all of this stuff up here, put the cans all together, contain it, anything that I can contain it up and just bring some sort of cohesion to the chaos that is this cupboard. <laughs> This is a very, very satisfying thing to look at. Up here is still a little bit crammed, but it's actually pretty organized. Like everything's like stacked and kind of placed. There's just like this basket up here, which just has like miscellaneous snacky things. I've got my flour jar. Oh, I got a jar of this is just baking stuff, nuts and seeds, rice, miscellaneous, big beautiful container of our granola. Why do I have four individual open chocolate? Salt. And this one is sugar. It's a little mixture of, oh my god, can you just, just stay, just stay. It's like a mixture of like refined white sugar and raw sugar because to be honest, I couldn't be bothered separating them. But yay, pantry is organized it makes my brain just feel so clean i'll show you the organization of our bedroom closet because that is looking so nice i'm very happy with that um so we did this maybe last weekend so this just used to have like a bunch of stuff in it but now we've just got my clothes on this side daniel's clothes are on that side um, i've really culled it down to just like a few pieces that I really really love and I love it because I feel like now I can I can see like every single item of clothing that I own and I feel like I'm more likely to like actually wear them now that I can see them and then just like washing basket just slides in there just like that so it's very organized and very clean and we like wiped down the walls because like oh my god the back wall was just covered in mold. It was kind of crazy. Daniel's side, we've got the dehumidifier down here just because we only really use that in peak winter. And so that's tucked away. Daniel's clothes, just a bit more organized. Just like no clutter in here, which is really nice except for up here. I've got my film camera, which I haven't used in a while. I've got a frame that I need to fix. And I also did a cull out of my shoes. So now I only really have like, what is it? One, two, three pairs of shoes up here. That's organized the cupboard slash closet in the office is a bit more put together. 
Just feeling very good about all of that. button pull down so that you're keep crunching as high as you can. Inhale, belly drop to your child pose. Exhale, think cat pose, press the ground away. Tension of wheel feels like maybe you find a nice easy wheel pull. Two, relax everything. On one. Driving through your right shin to control it down and then on your next inhale you'll lift and rise. Maybe even think back bend at the top open. Exhale, you close or fold. Keep driving through the right shin. The left foot and maybe right hand connect. And then you'll lower back down.
a summer babe. This entire day, I felt as though I was walking in a dream. It was the most perfect spring day, filled with all of the things that my heart and soul craves and loves. But the biggest part of what made this day so beautiful was how I just felt so seen and held. Lately, I've recognized how some of the deepest forms of healing that I've experienced hasn't been within the portal of a practice of yoga or of meditation or breath work, but actually through the portal of sisterhood and friendship, through being recognized in ways that I never thought were possible. The depth and magnitude of love that I've received from my sisters and from my friendships has felt like such an answer to a prayer. This is the kind of love that I always wished to receive, even as a child. They are my anchor, my mirror, my safe place, and sometimes even my trigger, showing me where I can become even more free and where I can step more fully into myself. And I adore the fact that we can have the biggest, deeper, meaningful chats and get really philosophical and then completely switch into this space of just fully leaning into our inner children and playing and laughing and just being silly. They remind me to take life not so seriously and to enjoy the journey. Ha <laughs> ha 